With over 800 going on 900 Pokemon, there is one of every shape, size, and frankly, color of the rainbow. As of the recording of this video, there are 18 different types of Pokemon that group them together and set them apart, and they all share a common yet unique flavor. With that said though, which of the 18 types has the best Pokemon overall? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today, as we're going to determine which of these types has the best quality Pocket Monsters top to bottom. Real important note here before we get into it though, is that this is a list based on my own opinion. I'm not looking at this from a competitive perspective or anything like that, I'm just evaluating the quality of the Pokemon designs themselves and determining which type I believe has the best group. Before we start, however, I wanted to go ahead and sponsor myself again and let you guys know about some new merch I have on Tee Public. There's this awesome new Hoops and Hip Hop logo tee and even a poster from Pokemon Cardinal. You can get some for yourself with the link in the description and it greatly supports the channel at the same time, so thank you so much in advance for any and all support on that, and with that said, on to the video. Starting from the bottom at number 18 is Normal. I really hate to give these guys the short end of the stick, but all the Pokemon here really live up to their type description of being just that, Normal. So while there aren't really any bad Normal Pokemon for the most part, there aren't really any that stand out like the other types have either. Up next is Poison. Poison is a type that just wasn't the greatest at all for a long time before Fairy came around to balance things out, and that shows in its roster of Pokemon. While there are a few great ones like both Nidoran lines and the Salazzle family, most of the others either aren't super great or don't even have Poison as their primary type, which certainly doesn't help its case when compared to every other type that's out there. At 16 is a type with a similar predicament, Bug. Now believe it or not, there are actually a lot of really good bug types that I personally really like a lot, and I'd go so far as to say that this type is underrated in that aspect because historically, it hasn't been the best type competitively. Unfortunately though, it still ended up lower on the list because the other types just have better groups of Pokemon in my opinion, filled with more of those heavy hitters. And speaking of heavy hitters, at 15 is the flying type. The flying type's only downfall is that literally almost all flying Pokemon aren't even primary flying type, the only ones who are being Tornadus, the Noivern line, and the newly revealed Corviknight and Cramorant. With that said though, it still has a ton of amazing Pokemon to its name, including several legendaries and even a couple pseudo-legendaries in Dragonite and Salamence. Moving on from there, we have the Rock type. The Rock type has a couple heavy hitters, such as the Tyranitar line, the Agron line, and even the Rockruff family, but outside of that, at least by and large, the rest of them are just solid, kind of like rocks actually, and the really good quality of those Pokemon isn't necessarily there top to bottom with this group, in my opinion. In at lucky number 13 is Fighting, and Fighting is basically like the slightly better rock type in this situation. There are some Fighting types like Gallade, Halucha, Marshadow, as well as Tyrogue and Hitmontop that I absolutely love, but there are also plenty that I'm kinda indifferent towards, and even some I'm not the biggest fan of, like the Conkelder line, that end up kind of evening out this type in terms of where it sits with me. Okay, so next up is the ground type, and ground actually has a lot of awesome Pokemon. There's Groudon, there's the Garchomp family, there's the Nidos once again, and you've even got a couple starters like Swampert and Torterra. There honestly isn't really anything bad I can say about this group, there's just others out there that I prefer a little bit more. Speaking of types I prefer a bit more, the first of those would be Fairy. Now, Fairy doesn't have a lot of Pokemon to its name since it is the newest type, but I feel like, unlike some other types, Fairy types tend to pop out or stand out a little bit more in their own special way. There's also some fantastic Fairy types to be had as well, including Xerneas, Diancie, the Togepi family, and Alolan Ninetales. Officially making it into the top 10, we have the Psychic type. Now, thanks to the Psychic type being unofficially dubbed the Legendary type during the early days of Pokemon, there are a ton of awesome Legendaries with this type, which really bolsters its quality. You obviously have Mew and Mewtwo, you have Lugia, Latias and Latios, Jirachi, Deoxys, Victini, and the list goes on. And that's not even mentioning the great standard Pokemon from this type either, like Espeon and Gallade. There are, however, other types in my opinion that are a bit more well-rounded. 
At number 9 is the most populous of the 18 types, Water. Water does end up getting a leg up because A, it does have the most Pokemon to its name and therefore there are bound to be some good ones, and B, it can also claim all the Water type starter Pokemon, which is a huge advantage. However, this type is also a mix of quality and just quantity, because having so many Pokemon does inevitably give you some duds, like Tentacool and Basculin for instance, which is really what held it back from making it any higher on this list. Just ahead of water is actually another starter type, and that would be grass. And funnily enough, it's basically just like a better water type in my opinion. While I do prefer most of the water starters to the grass starters, the grass starters are still great, and with the grass type being a little more densely compacted with its roster, it doesn't have quite as many rotten eggs holding it back, and it's a little more balanced in its quality top to bottom. Of particular note, I really like Shaman, the Chespin family, and Gogo. At lucky number 7 is a type that's kind of a starter type, and that is none other than Electric. Electric has always been one of my more personal favorite types, and there are so many just absolutely top-notch Pokemon here, including Pikachu, obviously, but also the Mareep family, Raikou, the Luxray line, Rotom, Helioptile, and the Lantern line, just to name a few. This is definitely another one of those nothing bad to say about it, just others I like more, type of pick. Next up is the Ice type, and this is where it gets interesting because while only being number 6 here, Ice is probably my favorite type. While there's not a whole lot of Ice types admittedly, they really bring the heat, ironically enough, with the quality, and Pokemon such as the Alolan Sandslash and Ninetales lines, Glaceon, the Amora line, the Weavile line, Lapras, Sfeel, Qrem, there are a ton of amazing Pokemon here. But even though it's my personal favorite, I do feel like there are better groups of Pokemon to be had. Now we're really starting to get serious with the top 5, and kicking it off is the Dark type. From Tyranitar to Houndoom to Absol to Weavile to Zoroark to Greninja to Eveltal and more, there are some amazing Dark type Pokemon out there. But just like any type, it's not without its duds either, and Pokemon like Lipard, Alolan Persian, and Bisharp hold it back just a tad in my opinion, although it is still certainly worthy of that top 5 spot. At number 4 is the final of the starter types, Fire. I think most people would agree that Fire is one of the best types because not only can it claim the starter Pokemon just like the other two types, but Fire is a great type for legendaries as well, boasting fantastic examples such as Ho-Oh, Entei, Victini, and Reshiram. It can even claim the greatest individual Pokemon of all time, Cyndaquil, so it's no wonder why Fire made it this far on the list. For my number 3 pick, I have the Dragon type, and for good reason. It doesn't really require any explanation that the Dragon type is packed with incredible Pokemon, because most of them are legendaries and pseudo-legendaries, and that is definitely to its credit, hence why it is so high on the list. But when evaluating all of the different types, I didn't want to let Dragon just cheat its way to the top because it gets to have all of the legendaries. In my opinion, it needed to have a good set of Pokemon amongst its regular rocks roster as well to truly be the best, and in my opinion the non-legendary non-pseudo Pokemon are just okay. I'm also not the biggest fan of Komoo either, and Hydreigon is kinda just whatever in my opinion, so that kind of held it back from the top spot as well, considering this type relies so hard on its heavy hitters. Presenting itself at the runner-up spot we have the Steel type, and the Steel type is a really good example of what I mean by having a great roster top to bottom. Bottom. We of course have our amazing Pokemon like Lucario, Agron, Empoleon, Scizor, Mawile, etc., but even the average Pokemon of this bunch are really great, and there aren't really any at all that are straight up bad. I did mention Bisharp as being not my favorite with the Dark types, and I mean, Kling Klang also exists, but other than that, this is a really great set of Pokemon. And the number one pick, as you might have been able to guess already, is 
Ghost. Now, I've certainly always enjoyed the Ghost type, it's been amongst my favorite types for sure, but when I went ahead and looked at its entire roster of Pokemon for this video, I was actually taken aback by just how good the entire group was. Maybe it's because it's such a unique type to begin with, but going down the line, it almost feels as if every Pokemon was made extra special and given just that much more thought and care. My personal favorites have to be Phantump, Pumpkaboo, and Marshadow, but top to bottom, the Ghost type, in my opinion, easily has the best and highest quality group of Pokemon overall out of any other type. Well, that's my list, but what do you guys think though? Be sure to leave your own rankings in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new as well, and you can also support the channel on Spotify by listening to my Pokemon remixes, which is very much appreciated. With all that said though, I'll be back on Saturday with another one, so until then, as always, I love you all, and I will smell you guys later.